Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we will be making a trail stand for the Tenere 700. So let me show you how. So what we will be using for the trail stand is very standard, is what everybody uses to make these trail stands. It's a set of crutches. Um, these are children's crutches. You can get them off the second hand market. You actually only need one, but I'm using two just because I have two and you'll need two of these rubber inserts. So one for each side. Um, yeah, you'll need um, a tape measure, something to write with, so either to write them some notes on a piece of paper, but I think you won't need that because I'm going to tell you all the measurements, something to mark the metal with, and something very simple to cut with, such as this what I have, a little handsaw. Uh, you can use anything electrical as well, so that's a power tool, such as a Dremel or an electric cutter. So what you'll need are two distances, the one from below the foot pack to the floor vertically down, and for, for the front of the bash plate. So this was measured when uh, I lifted the rear rear wheel just a little, a little bit. This was measured to be 36, 37 centimeters, maybe 38 if you have a, a thicker tire. And for the front, it was just about 30, 30 something centimeters. So these are the measurements you need. So I already made all of the calculations and markings on the crutch itself. Um, I'm just gonna explain what I did. So as we measured, ideally you want the, the trail stand to be of a maximum extension of 37 centimeters. We'll just make it 40 centimeters together at full extension, just in case we're on uneven terrain or we're using it on another bike. So let's say 40 centimeters of maximum extension, plus um, we count in that we need about eight centimeters of tubing left inside uh, for stability, because otherwise it can't hold together. Um, so that's 40 centimeters plus 8 centimeters, uh, that's 48, and because we were, gonna, we we're going to have 2 centimeters of additional um, rubber on each side, we can subtract another 2 from the total length, so that would be 44 centimeters divided by 2, gives us the exact length each tube has to be, and that is 22 centimeters. So as I said, I already made the markings. Um, for the for the, let's, in this case, let's call it the upper tube. We have it at exactly 22 centimeters. It, it, for, in my case, using the child's crutch, it's exactly below uh, the upper hole. Um, if you'll be using the identical uh, crutch, it's gonna be the same. So probably there's not many child's crutches in the world. So in Europe, this is probably the standard you'll get. And for the lower crutch, uh, same thing. We did half a millimeter from the upper hole and uh, yeah, 22 centimeters again. Um, just count in that the the amount of tube that goes inside uh, the tube is um, 3.5 centimeters, about three centimeters. So just count that in. I did that on both sides. And um, yeah, now when we put these two together, let's say when they'll be compressed. So let's, let's imagine this will be like here and there's gonna be one like here. Um, these two, these two holes align, uh, and yeah, this is the full compressed length. And we want to extend it. We extend it to the full length like this, so that these last two holes align, uh, and this gives us a length of a little less than 40 centimeters. So in this case, I'm not sure if you can see, it's 37 centimeters. Yeah, and we add another two centimeters to each side, so another four, and that is 41 centimeters, uh, length of the trail stand that we're gonna have. So that's perfect. So this is what we're left with. <laughs> um, let's try put it on. All right. Okay, let's put it together. It almost lines up. Perfect. Okay, and this is our trail stand. It's very tiny as you can see. Now let's go and try it out on the bike. So let's try it out. We won't do it at full extension because full extension for us would be too much. Let's try two holes less. Let's lift the bike up. All right, that's great. The bike is stable and the rear wheel is 
lift it off just enough for it to spin. Now let's try the front wheel. stable as well which is perfect when it comes to storing the trail stand you can pretty much zip tie it anywhere you want to such as here and maybe on your bars on top like this um, I've seen many people zip tying it up here behind the exhaust bracket uh, but I'm not sure <laughs> it'll probably get very dirty if you have a rear rack you can attach it to there um, I've also seen some people putting it below the seat, so yeah, if you manage to squeeze it in there, it is possible, but um, I won't be doing that because I have other things below there. I'll probably just put it in a backpack or a bag with tools once I'll be going on bigger trips. So that sums it up for today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this little accessory helps you on the trails. Um, and yeah, that's it. Make sure to give us a follow on Instagram because we have no following there. Um, like the video, subscribe if you like the content, and uh, yeah, till next time, bye!